In this project, we will numerically validate the data obtained by the paper named Effects of Curvature Radius on Separation Behaviors of the Hydrocyclone with a Tangent Circle in it. As you can see in this slide, we have extracted the figure 1 of the paper, which shows the parameters and domain mesh of the hydrocyclone. Now in this project, based on the information provided by the paper, two-phase flow of water and air inside a hydrocyclone is simulated. The water will in enter the computational domain through a tangentially canal with the velocity of 6 meters per second based on the paper. The Reynolds stress model is exploited to solve fluid flow equation, and VOF multiphase model is also used to investigate the phases interaction of the water and air core. Now in this slide, you can see that we have extracted the figure 4 of the paper, which shows the axial velocity over the radial position of a line with z equal to 18 millimeters passing from the middle section of the hydrocyclone. Now this is the graph we are going to validate its result at the end of this project. It should be pointed out that in this project, we have only validated the results related to hydrodynamic data of this paper. Therefore, no DPM or discrete phase material model is defined in this project. This is the geometry of this model, which consists of a water inlet and two pressure outlets. Uh, this geometry is designed in ANSYS Design Modeler software. In this slide, you can see the mesh performed for this geometry. The geometry is meshed in ANSYS meshing software, and the mesh type used for this geometry is, is on a structure. The total element number is equal to 228,517. Under the general setup tab, you can see different buttons from scales to units. By clicking on a scale, a new window will appear showing you the dominant extents of your geometry. Also, under the view length, view length unit section, you can see the default geometry units, which is meter in this project. Also, under the scaling section, uh, uh, under the mesh was created in, you can change the settings uh, in order to activate the scaling factors beneath that. For example, your geometry and mesh was is designed in a software which uh, its default unit was millimeters. By activating these scaling factors, you can change this factor to your desired factors in order to set the length to the appropriate unit. By clicking on check button, uh, you will see that under the console tab, the Fluid software will start to check your mesh for any errors. Uh, also, by clicking on report quality, again in the console tab, the Fluent software will, uh, will give you the quality report for your mesh. For example, you can see the maximum aspect ratio of your mesh, uh, maximum orthogonal quality, and etc. By clicking on display button, a new window will appear, which you can see different part, parts of your geometry. Now in the appear window, which shows you the names of the different parts of your geometry, you can click and select each part and then click on display uh, so that the software will show you that part. Now there are several assumptions taken into account for this project. The first one is that the type of our solver is selected to be pressure based. As for the velocity formulation, we have selected absolute formulation. And as for the time study, we have selected transient time study since we are dealing with a time progressing phenomenon. Also, we have included the gravity and the value of gravity is defined to be equal to minus minus 9.81 in Z direction. You can buy this learning product to obtain a geometry file, mesh file and a comprehensive training video on how to set up, meaning the pre-processing solution processing and extracting results, which is the post-processing and analysis. Now in this slide you can see the contours of volume fraction of air and you can compare this contour with the contour presented in the paper. Uh, it should also be noted that just like the paper, there is an air core in the middle section of our geometry. And in this slide you can see the velocity distribution in the middle plane of our geometry and you can compare this contour with the contour presented in the paper. And finally, in this slide, you can see that uh, in this graph, we have compared our CFD simulation results with the result presented in the paper, and you can see that good agreement 
exist between our results and the papers. To benefit from Mr. CFT services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at mrcft.com.